<laughs> okay, so we are going to go ahead and uh, install um, uh, Google Chrome Portable on a student laptop. Uh, this is purely for informational purposes only and for staff purposes only. So um, there we go. Okay. All right, so we have two windows open here. We have uh, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to open the local hard drive. Okay, so we're going to click on the, um, we opened up Firefox. Actually, let's do this in order. So let's, we open up Firefox and we're going to search uh, Chrome Portable. Okay, and we're going to go down to um, Chrome Portable on cnetdownload.com. Uh, so Chrome Portable. So download.cnet.com. So we're going to go there. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and download Chrome Portal with this big green button here. Okay, so that's downloading. Okay, so we're still waiting for the download here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save the file. Okay, so it went ahead and it downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and right click and go open. So we went to the download windows in Firefox, download window in Firefox. We're going to right click it to go in Chrome Portable and do open containing folder. <clears throat> okay, so that opens our um, window here. And all we're going to do is we're actually just going to drag it down. We want to go ahead on the, see on the left hand side here. We're going to go ahead and open the local disk, and we're going to click on that local disk, and we're going to create a new folder in there. Uh, we're going to call that Chrome, just so we know where we put it. Put it right, or we could just call it Apps. We need to do other apps in here. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back, just so we get to right the right place. And now, um, so I click the back button, so now I have the, the Chrome Portable right there. Okay, we're gonna actually gonna actually uh, pull this down to uh, the apps. So this is the Google Chrome Portable, and it's gonna say .paf, right? Okay, so that's gonna copy over. We can go ahead and close Firefox. Okay, so there we have it. It's it's a uh, it's copied over at this point. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and double click that. Now that it's now that it's in our local disk and in that apps folder, we're gonna go ahead and click uh, double click the file, and you're gonna notice a like, significant speed improvement because we're no longer working off the network. You just keep clicking OK and Next, and it's going to go ahead and download it. <clears throat> okay, so essentially what has happened here is at the end of the um, 
at the end of the installation, it asked me if I wanted to run Google uh, Google Chrome, and I said I did. Okay, now we have a couple of different options. So what we can do at this point is we can we can uh, once Google Chrome is open, it's basically going to run out of this apps folder. Okay, it's just going to continue to run. If you wanted to delete it, you just delete it. Delete in the apps where you just delete these two, um, these two, this file and this folder here. But so the kid, so that the student doesn't have to go find it, let's go ahead and right click on the, um, just while it's open for this first time, right click on it and click pin to this program to taskbar. Okay, and that way, once we close it, that launcher will stay on the taskbar. Okay, so that's the full installation there. So now we have Chrome on the taskbar. We can click on that. Um, we can also uh, go ahead and. Um, okay, so that's it. So um, I would say don't set as default, don't ask again. So that's Chrome, and we can go ahead and test it out. So, uh, but that will be another video. <laughs> so that's the install for Chrome on a netbook. Uh, good luck.